lamb, and mutton are both domestic sheep, just at different times in their life cycles. Lamb is a sheep that's typically less than one year old. There's a little fat on lamb. And the meat can vary in color from a tender pink to a pale red. Mutton refers to an adult sheep that's over one year old, but preferably three years of age. Lamb is more popular premium meat in the United States, Europe, and the Middle East. The color of the meat ranges from pale pink to pale red and is generally very lean. Its mild flavor also makes it versatile. Ground lamb can be a great substitute for ground beef. Lamb has much less fat and is much more tender than mutton. Lamb less than three months of age is called spring lamb. Spring lamb is extremely tender but has a milder flavor than lamb. Common cuts of lamb include lamb chops, lamb shoulder, lamb loin, lamb shake, leg of lamb, rack of lamb, and ground lamb. In certain parts of the world, mutton has different names and even different meanings. In New Zealand and Australia, they use the term sheep meat. It's used to describe mutton, while hogget or yearling describes the meat of a young sheep between one and two years of age. In South Asia and the Caribbean, chefs may use mutton to simply describe goat meat. Mutton comes from older sheep with more fat and more muscle. It gives it a strong, gamey flavor, similar to goat, venison, or wild boar. And it tastes best when cooked slowly. Because mutton is from an older sheep, the muscle is more dense, and there's a higher fat content. This gives you a tougher meat that can be dry or chewy if not prepared correctly. There are people who cannot stand mutton on account of its distinctive strong taste. Roast lamb is very popular, especially when done well. It sounds counterintuitive, but the key to making meat taste good, well done, is to cook it long and slow at the right temperature. Many Middle Eastern cultures prefer this so as not to see any blood in their meat. With some methods, the meat will not only be properly seasoned, but it will be covered and cooked for close to a day. The result is the tastiest, most tender and moist meat that you've ever had in your mouth. In other remote parts of the world, like Kentucky in the United States, thin strips of fatty mutton can be cut into substitutes for bacon. They call it macon, mutton bacon. In India, mutton curry is also known as mutton masala or mutton gravy. It's a delicious Indian curried dish of soft, succulent, tender chunks of meat in spicy onion tomato gravy. It will typically be marinated with yogurt, ginger, garlic paste, salt, turmeric, and chili powder, tenderizing the meat overnight. There's many variations to these recipes, but tenderizing the mutton is essential in pretty much every single one of these dishes. Kuzu tandir is the most beloved lamb dish in Turkish cuisine. His lamb is so tender and so flavorful, prepared with such masterful care that it falls away from the bone and it simply melts in your mouth. The word tandir comes from the ancient technique of cooking meat in a special oven, dug as a fire pit in the ground. This technique was used for centuries by Seljuk Turks and their ancestors from Central Asia. It's still seen in Turkey, Greece, and the Caucasus, India, Pakistan, and even Afghanistan today. Tender also refers to any meat roasted slowly in its own juices over coals on the stove or in the oven. And this method is one of the best ways to prepare the most flavorful mutton or lamb you've ever had. What do you call a sheep who knows karate? A mutton chop. <laughs> These are. Interesting things with JC.